press conference of uh, the Black Knights Film Festival main competition entry, uh, A Quiet Dream. And uh, with us, we have the film's director, Chang Lu. And uh, we have also translating uh, Duck Yu Chang. So, um, yes, uh, please uh, let me know if you want to have, uh, add any questions. But I would like to begin with an intro. Um, Mr. Lu, um, your, fil your film is a, a very poetic and a very beautiful uh, study of uh, people living on the edges of society. Uh, could you tell us a bit about the background of the story and why did you choose this, th this story, these characters? Oh. 先找好了演员这三个人呢，就是我们之前就商量好，呃，他们三个作为演员来参加我的一部电影。好，this story is based my idea last year. Before the story was formed, I actually had three men who are directors, and that is. Before I had this story, I had three directors there as their actors, but they are not really actors, they are directors. So mm -hmm. that's why I had uh, players first, then the story. Just because I had only three men who are not actors, then I was thinking we have to find a real actor, a female actor. So these four people form the Final four main rules in my story. Oh,这三个、三个、三个、三个导演呢？呃，长相非常非常普通，放到人群里是找不到的。呃，然后我就说这三个人的长相，在韩国的什么样的空间去做一个故事好？呃，就是和我住的地方。比较近的一个区域叫水色翼 the three um, players had have very plain faces, which, who can be placed anywhere and can be found anywhere. And these choices of the three faces can fit any uh, non-developed, und undeveloped places in Korea. So in order to find somebody outstanding from these three male, we ha I have to find a a uh, female from China. So these the four can form a team for this story. 这四个人物呢,就组合到一起,我想说一个什么样的故事呢? 
，我们这个世界再怎么艰难，还是要有互相关心、互相帮助、互相依赖的这么样的情感，最好是不要消失。其实这样的情感在。世界上各个地区都在消失，而我们能能不能在这个电影里，即使是像梦一样，但是我们能够能能不能够把它保留下来？呃、uh, ，the story， 呃、uh, ，just wants to reflect a situation now which is very popular and going on in the world. That is,、um, whatever hardships anybody is facing. They need some emotional uh, concerns, uh, help, friendship. Since this kind of、uh, emotion is disappearing worldwide, I just want to use this story to show how to maintain this kind of uh, emotion uh, in our real life.、Um, yeah. uh, I also wanted to ask.、Um, This story、uh, is about people who are, who are living,、uh, who have been isolated or have left their home countries, have、uh, are living in different co- countries and a bit different con- cultures. So, is the,、uh, as I heard, you this is also a、uh, autobi- it has autobiographical elements in it, because you yourself have, o- have also spent your life、uh, not in your home country. Is that true? And how would you comment on that? Uh, 我曾经的电影里面得知，这种人呢、啊，生活在异国他乡，有一种离乡背景的这样一种背景在里头。这是否说明这里面有您个人自传式的经历？您对此做什么样的评论？嗯，就是说，其实我跟这个。这里边的人物的生活方式，其实是不是很一样？但是说什么呢？从背景上来说呢，呃，从我们家来说呢，我的爷爷、我的妈妈，都是从韩国移民到中国。我是出生在中国，然后呢，现在我又反过来，我又现在又在韩国生活，等于说是，也是有一种。在他乡生活的这种情绪在里边，呃，从大的这种背景上来说呢，我也有感同身受的地方。The story is not really my own、uh, autobiographic, autobiographic experiences, but actually, since my grandparents and my parents、um, were living in China, and I was born. I was born in in China, but now I'm living and working in Korea. So, in a way, it reflects my experience, some of my experiences. 嗯，我现在倒觉得，可能全世界都是异乡人的生活。I feel, I really feel, worldwidely,、uh, almost everybody feels isolated from their hometown. Uh, also, uh, the title of your film、uh, is "A Quiet Dream," so it seems to hint that、uh, maybe not all we see in the story might might be real. How would you how would how would you describe?、Uh, could you get, give us some hints how to interpret the film? From this film's title, the theme is "To be quiet dream," which seems to be not very consistent with reality. How would you describe? 解释这个梦和现实之间的一种契合程度。嗯，呃，实际这个现在原来的名字叫春梦，但是说什么呢？就是翻译成英文的时候呢，是由海外的发行公司来最后定成这样的一个英文的名字。我这个电影里呢，呃，一定梦嘛，就一定会有宁静的成分在。但是说原来的题目就是说韩文的题目跟中文的题目是一样的，叫春梦。春梦呢，就是说我们中国人或者是韩国人都有一句话：一场春梦，人生像一场春梦一样。很，就春梦呢，就是说很短暂、很破碎、很容易醒来。当然也有安静的成分在里边。然后呢，春梦的还有一个意思
，就是说跟琴瑟有关系，就是说，实际上这个是在中国、韩国和日本来说，是，呃，管琴瑟的梦也叫，也叫春梦。这里的这个人物里边的呢，呃呃，这里边的三个男，呃，三个男，呃，男主角。还有女一号，他们都有这种情欲上的一种状态，但是这个情欲上的状态呢，它的疏解的方式不是简单粗暴，而是像梦一样很含蓄、很宁静。呃、uh, ，I can understand this、uh, title of this film in the following way. Uh, in Chinese culture and the Korean, even Japanese culture, the original title is called Chun Meng, which means uh, spring dream. But it is translated by international uh, uh, agency like uh, the quiet dream. It's something different there. So although this uh, story has some implication of a quiet dream, actually the original meaning uh, says more, including kind of a uh, spring dream can be easily waking up. It's short and broken sometimes. And also it implies love and sex. So the three male actors and one female actors, on both sides they have kind of a desire for sex and, and also love. But the expression of this kind of love and sex is not that rough and rude, but in a very uh, quiet way. So it can be translated into the quiet dream. Uh, I feel more and more that in my life, I feel more and more that when it is reality, when it is a dream, 我自己都搞不清楚，有很多事我觉得是混杂在一起。特别是我们在拍片的时候呢，里边的那个三个导演演员，他们的他们的电影里的那个人物的一些一些性格呢，也联系到我的这个电影里边，所以他们拍片的时候也是觉得是什么呢？我们是真的拍片呢，还是在做梦呢？所以可能是宁愿不去搞清楚到底哪一部分是梦，还是哪一部是哪一部分是现实，呃，怎么去理解都可以。Also, my story can show a kind of、um, confusion just between a dream and the reality. So just like the main. Actors and actresses, they also express the way in my filming. They may be confused whether they are doing filming, or starring, or they are doing dreaming. So it's a kind of a confusion. Everybody feels, you know, a real modern life. And all the characters are involved in that kind by the personal characters in this film. Do we have any questions? I want to ask、uh, one more question about the three directors. Maybe um, uh, does he have a special relationship with them? Are they friends? So what was the initial motivation to use three directors? And because, as you mentioned, they are not really actors. So it may be are they close friends, or there is some other hidden meaning, let's say, why he wanted to、um, film. 呃，我的问题是有关那三位导演演员，那么他和您之间是熟人，是朋友吗？他们之间是不是朋友？您是怎么选择他们三位做演员的？嗯，他们三个都是我的非常好的朋友，嗯，然后我选择他们来做来拍我的电影呢，一个是我非常非常喜欢这三位导演的电影。还有这个三位导演呢，呃，既是非常好的导演，实际他们非常有这种表演的潜能。然后呢，我就
，几年前开始一直就跟他们说，我们一起，我们一起拍一个电影，然后呢，他们，他们说好啊，好啊，嗯，然后过了几年后，他们反而问我，你到底是什么时候拍？你是不是在开玩笑？后来我说，就去年的，去年的冬天的时候，碰见他们的时候。他们说你你们你到底拍不拍？我们也我们也都是盲人，嗯，不能老等你啊。我说那就好吧，那就我们就你们把呃今年的四月份把四月份给我留下来，空出档期我们来拍，啊，然后呢才开始想故事。For the three director players, for sure we are close friends. And also, just because they were directors themselves, and they can be very potential as players. So uh, years ago, I told them possibly we can cooperate for some film. But quite a few years later, they asked me, "What is your plan? Whether you can take your plan into action?" Then last year, I told them, "This year for April, you leave me this April." As a time for this film, so this year we did this film together. Um, I wanted to ask about more about um, the film shot in uh, the region Suzak in in South Korea, if I'm not mistaken. It's a economically less developed place. Uh, why did you decide to set the story there, and, or do you have a, do you have a special relationship with this place? I have one question is about the scene of the action. This action is in a Korean civilized area. So, in the case of this place, why did you choose this place? Do you have any special reason here? This place is called the Sea Sea. 就这里，这个我拍摄的地方叫水色驿呢，和我住的地方呢，呃，走路十五分钟。就是我这个电影里出出，就是出来两次，呃，三次的那个一个场景是什么呢？有一个地下通道，就是从我住的地方呢到那个对面的话呢，就地下通道，通过一个地下通道十五分钟就能到我拍摄的那个地方。嗯，那个地方和我住的地方完全不一样，因为我住的那个地方呢，就是说首尔，可以说最近最现代化的一个区域，是什么呢？全都是，呃，各电视台啊，各各种媒体，呃，住的一个地方，居民很少。我住的地方就是，就只有我们一个孤零零的一个楼才住居民，而我们。而从我那儿呢，就穿过一个地下通道，十五分钟后到的那个水色驿，我拍的那个地方呢，是可以说欠发达地区到什么程度呢？好像是有那么将近十二十年没有发展的那种感觉。呃，那个地区吸引我在哪儿呢？虽然二十年没有发展，但是就是人们的那种。邻里的关系，人们的那种互相关心的那种关系，都还在。而我住的那个地方呢，人和人很客气，但是说，呃，看不到对方的感情到底是什么样，只是客气而已。所以我我我虽然住在这边呢，但是我几乎每个星期有那么两三天，一定到水色驿那个地方。到那个地方吃饭啊，或者是不吃饭也是，到那个地方逛一逛那个街道，在那个市场里转一转，就感觉那里呢，还是有那种人和人的那种可以沟通的那种东西，而我住的这个地方就没有，所以我的电影里呢，也是主要是拍水色驿，但是说什么呢，也拍了我住的地方。这个两个空间呢有一个比较。Yeah, yes, it's a very interesting question. But actually, the two places between、uh, the setting in the film and my living space, the two places are not so far from each other. 
is only 15 minutes walk away by an underground tunnel. These two places are quite different just because uh, the setting place is, uh, is, uh, is somewhere which is uh, about 20 years behind the modern area where I live. Where I live. So the two places in these two different environments and the settings show different um, relationships between people. In my living space, people are friendly, are respectful to each other, but I can never feel any close people-to-people -people relations and the people-to-people -people emotion. But in the setting place in my film, although it is uh, 20 years behind, but the people's relations and the people-to-people -people feelings and emotions are quite so uh, uh, intimate to each other. That's why I take these two places as comparison, as a contrast in my film. Mm,所以从我住的这个空间到了那边空间的时候，我觉得呢，呃，有一种像梦一样的感觉。然后呢，那边那个水色翼，我拍摄的那个空间，很像我的故乡。Uh, in my film, these two contrastive places seems to be a kind of a dream and a reality. The setting in my story looks like my hometown, which I really dream about. So my living space is more real realistic, but the setting place seems to be more emotional. Um. Uh, you, also, you mentioned that um, you wanted to show how people in, in this um, region, which is uh, 20 years behind, uh, that they are still more connected emotionally. So uh, could you say that one instrument for that is uh, the use of poetry? Because as we see the characters, they, they write, read and write poets to each other. So how would you comment on that? And uh, would you say that Poetry has a special influence on your filmmaking. You talked about the two countries, the two countries' difference. Ah, the more advanced countries, people's feelings are more close, which makes them remember. So, what kind of means you use in your film? You said you used to write poetry in it. What kind of means you use this kind of means to express your feelings? 是出于什么考虑，用这种手段来表达你的意图的？嗯，呃，就是说，呃，这个诗是非常非常美好的东西嘛。我也非常喜欢诗，但是诗会在什么样的空间里有它生生长的这种土壤？就我觉得我住的那个，现在我住的那个地方呢？嗯，要是诗，要是作为一个植物在那儿长大的话，我长出来的话是不可能是个沙漠一样的情感。而我拍摄的那个水色翼的那个土壤呢，就容易让诗这种情感生长出来。所以我就是说，呃，水我拍摄的那个地方的人的情感，还是能够有诗存在。Yes, that's an um, interesting question also. Uh, the two places in my story is contrastive to each other. Uh, like, a, like a poetry is so beautiful to everybody. But where can a poetry survive, just like uh, emotional people to survive? In my place, in my living space, that uh, place is not suitable for poetry to, to run across people. But in my setting place, people are so emotional and they are so uh, friend friendly to each other. That is a place where poetry can run across each other. That's why I chose that place for, uh, choose this kind of instrument to express people's feeling by poetry. Like a book, 更像，但诗呢？我觉得可能是跟梦的节奏可能更接近。
now to add it up. Uh, like uh, poetry and uh, novel, they are different means of uh, literary, literary works. Novel seems to be more linked with our real life, but poetry seems to be far from our real life. Real life. So poetry is more like a dream. Novel is more like a reality. 嗯，对我自己的想法呢，电影呢最好离小说远一点，跟诗更近一点。In my personal understanding, I hope films can be a little bit far from novel, while to be closer to poetry. It's my own understanding. So, uh, you are. Your your mission is to create more uh, more like fictitious and less uh, realistic films. Is that is that how we can put it? 这么说来，您您的这个意图啊，是不是更远离现实，呃，更倾向于这个梦幻般的这样表达呢？嗯，你再怎么去这么想，再怎么去这么努力。我们的大的背景还是在现实里边，所以我们是在现实里边，所以你再追求梦，再追求诗，是没有问题的。呃、uh, ，yes， 呃、uh, ，but the reality is， however， whatever effort you you put to pursue your dream， it is a little bit far， and the reality is still on on the novel side， no novel side。Side, yes. Do we have any more questions? Yeah. Well. Uh, well, thank you for the answers. Uh, yeah, they they have given us, at me at least personally, a lot of insight how to, uh, or more layers to inter interpret in the film. And um, we wish you a very very beautiful uh, premiere tonight. And thank you for being with us here. 非常感谢您给我们做了比较多的介绍，因为就我个人来说，我对这个故事的内涵、比较它的深层次的理解加上了很多，非常感谢，也希望您今天晚上能够取得比较大的成功。好，谢谢，谢谢 ，Thank you， 谢谢。